64 to 60. Let's take a look at the highlights. Thank you, Brittany Bowman, and hello, GSF Universe. Game of the week coming at you. It's the first EBAL championship game, and this was a thriller. But before we move forward, just want to give a shout out to our game sponsor, the Sereno Group Real Estate, always serving the local communities and to Pro Sport Training in San Jose. If you want to be the best, you have to train with the best. Call AJ Rangel right now. He's the head coach, he's the owner, he's the trainer to set up a workout plan. They train all year round. Check them out. Back to the game. De La Salle taking on Dublin. Dublin, the visiting team in their home court. That's kind of crazy. First quarter, Gale Sr. Jared Smart started things off with a fast finish to the rack. Spartans answered right back. Justin Pratt with a nice reverse layup. Mid first now, Smart played well on both sides of the ball. Three ball, good. Seconds later, Nice defensive stop. That's actually a turnover caused by Smart. And he'll go coast to coast with the finish. Smart had seven in the opening quarter. But De La Salle wrapped up the first with a three ball by Connor Odea. 15 to 10 Spartans at the break. Late second, De La Salle started to pull away. Omeka Odeni with the big second quarter. Seven points in the period for the Spartans big man. DLS had a 26 to 19 lead at intermission. Third quarter, Gales started to chip away the lead. Steven Houston with a nice N1 bucket to spark things up. He actually had two of those. Houston finished with nine points. De La Salle was consistent, however, with Danny to Odea. Nice. But Dublin kept answering. Robbie Beasley went off in the third with 11 points. Spartans, they have playmakers. Colby Orr, nice roundabout scoop layup, followed by this runner by Odea. 36 to 30 Spartans. Dublin erased that deficit right away. However, Smart buries the three. And seconds after that, gets the layup to go. That made it. 36-35, Gales down by just one. Spartans defense tried to slow down the Gales momentum. Or with a nice interception right there. Excellent finish by Odeni. That gave De La Salle a 38-35 lead, but not for long. Beasley, remember I said he had 11 points in the quarter. Here's the 9th, 10th, and 11th point. Bang! 38-38, we're all tied up, and it was 40 all at the break. Fourth quarter. Dublin took the lead for the first time in the game. Grant Manning with the layup. 42-40, Gales. 2.25 left in the game. Dublin's Jack Nielsen would foul out on this play. Not good for the Gales, but they kept the lead. Beasley to the rack. 48-46, Gales. Less than a minute left in the game. Spartans would take the lead with this layup by Pratt. 15 seconds left in the game. Spartans protecting a 51-49 lead. Beasley to Manning. Manning shoots and scores. The scoreboard gave him a three, but his foot was clearly inside the three-point line. 51-51. We go to overtime. Dublin actually thought they won right there because of that scoreboard was wrong, but it was 51-51 at the end of regulation. There it is right there. Overtime. Dublin struck first. Beasley to Manning, strong move to the hoop, and that's, a, that's an N1 bucket, 54-51 after the three-point conversion, and that set the tone for the rest of the OT. Spartans junior Justin Pratt led all scores with 22 points. He kept the Spartans in the game come crunch time, but Dublin was ready for this, and Timmy Falls came through with six points in extra time. That N1 bucket good. Falls had 18 total. Beasley had team high 19 points. Dude's a freshman, and this is the game of the week, and we picked Beasley as the MVP. De La Salle had a chance to make something happen with the clock winding down, but they turned it over, and that is it. Dublin Gales with a huge win over the mighty Spartans. Brittany Bowman talked to the first ever freshman to receive the GSF Top Flight Elite Basketball Game of the Week MVP honors and his EBAL champ squad after the game. Game of the Week is brought to you by Top Flight Elite Basketball.
and by Ike's Lovin' Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every time. Let's go! Let's go! All right. All right. Brittany Bowman here with Get Sports Focus. We're here with Dublin High School, who just beat the De La Salle Spartans. You guys are the EBAL champions. How does that feel? It feels really good. Real good. I mean, we put them hours in at practice every time. After out of practice, it just feels good to get a win. Just now, I know you're a freshman. Um, how, how much do you think you've matured uh, from the beginning of the season until now? Oh, I matured a lot. I mean, all the guys pushed me to get better, and I take all the criticisms, all the all the positive construct constructive shit, and, and um, I mean, like, it just feels good. It feels good. Congratulations, Robbie and Grant. You are our playmaker of the game. Congratulations. Um, so you sent the team into overtime. Tell me how that feels. You know, it was. It was happened all so fast, you know, it felt good leaving the hands. I was hoping that, you know, we go in. I knew the whole team needed it. We needed the team needed it. We were playing Dale Tell, biggest game of the year. I'm um, just glad that it went in. Super happy about that. And towards the end of the game, um, two of your starters fouled out, but you guys kept pushing. Um, talk about what your coach was talking to you guys about on the bench at that time. You know, you just said, got to stick together. We've had a great bench this whole year, and uh, we knew that we could get it. All of us behind us, we knew the bench. Everyone could be behind our back, so I trusted him. I, I had a lot of trust in him. Congratulations. Let's make some noise. Yeah! Oh!